He look crazy as hell. Yeah, that nigga, nigga look clean, though. He might be the damn spider ice cream man from Legion. Tired of waiting to see the next episode reaction? Why not join the Patreon? You can gain access to reactions that have been uploaded weeks in advance before they land on YouTube. Most of all, you can watch the full-length versions without the annoying copyright filter and subpar audio for just $5 a month. If you want to take your loyalty even further, you can watch our non-animated related reactions as well as submit requests for just $10 a month. So stay ahead of the curve and help us sustain the brand. Thank, Thank you. you. Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with my lovely fiance Johnny Lee on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where we react to everything that we ain't ever seen. And today we are doing some more opening reactions to a fan request that we got up on Patreon. Uh, shout out to my man Salik Smith. We're gonna be reacting to D Gray Man's all openings one through six, if I'm not mistaken. It was requested by him, and um, apologies in advance, man. I know it took us a while to uh, actually fulfill your request. I know you guys always hear me say that you are top priorities, especially if you're a tier three like my man Salik. You know, so um, I guess better late than never, man. We're gonna try to do our best to give you the full experience that you always love from We Ain't Seen The Reactions, you know what I'm saying? We always come with that real, you know? Uh, we gonna do this, man. I just wanna say that I don't know anything about D. Gray, man. Uh, I always hear about it. And when I do hear the word D. Gray, man, I think of like some kind of superhero or some shit. Like when you put man at the end of everything. When I, when I heard a D gray man, I was thinking about a piece of slop, a piece of gray slop that turned into a man that was roaming around New York City. Damn, I was thinking like um, Vampire Hunter D or something, you know, like, or um, y'all ever heard of the anime X? I have not. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. You know, I've I've heard things about it, but I never really looked into D Gray Man. But um, according to some fans, it's like an underrated series, and it actually has some pretty stellar animation. So I'm looking forward to seeing what it has to offer. What are you expecting to see from this? I have no idea. It seems like it's an ongoing series, so I'm uh, I'm guessing that it's a shonen because I think it had got like a hundred episodes or some shit like that. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and check it out. We ain't gonna waste no more of your time. Let's see what my man Salik saying about this anime, man. Look at you. This is terrible quality. I mean, this is all like a fine. Looks good though, the, the animation itself, not the quality of the video. Even the sound quality is not good. Yeah, it's a little dampened, but wait, it, this came out nine years ago. Whoever posted this. Like, we got some Samani weapon action. Every time I see a red mark on somebody's face, I think about the Black elves. Clover. Elves. Right. Wow, when okay. I held you tight, you was trembling. Mmm. Period. Oh no, it's like a mixture of bleach and a uh, death note. Mm -mm. Yeah, all these people like they have these special techniques. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be called something. That nigga look clean, like a pimp. She look crazy. Like you know, mama. <laughs> Nah, that's cool. Yeah, this definitely has a dark aesthetic to it. And I guess that's uh, Gray Man or D or whatever his name is. Oh shit, TV Tokyo. I know we're going to have a problem with these motherfuckers. Y'all always want us to react to TV Tokyo. Fun. I mean, they pretty much watch over most of the Shonen shows. This is uh, opening two. Bond is weak. This is really reminding me of when I used to love to listen to metal music. Oh shit, gun grave. This must be like an evil organization that they gotta go up against. That dude right there must be the main baddie. Okay, so he got like a cool blaster arm. That I'm pretty sure it's going to transform to all kind of awesome weapons. Somebody with a big ass hammer. Right. 
Kind of remind me of that dude from um, Elite Battle Angel. Yeah, he like he got a special arm. I keep seeing this nigga that look like Mad Caro from um, Cowboy Bebop. Is he the main bad guy? TMS Entertainment. He got a big ass smile. Your yeah, teeth go all the way down with it. Shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, I can tell this has a very dark vibe to it. Like, oh, this anime is going to be a very... I don't know. It's like very dark, gothic type. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that. It's kind of like one of those things that... Like, uh, futuristic, but not really. Yeah, it's almost like techno steam punk. Or yeah, kind of reminds me of that. He looked crazy as hell. Yeah, that nigga did. He clean, He might be a damn spider ice cream man from Legion. We got transformations now. Let's go. Ooh. I'm seeing great people on this. Yeah. I wonder if the main protagonist is like half human, half one of those gray people. Maybe that's what they mean when they say his name. Because, you know, it's always like the main protagonist, like even though he's a human, there's something off about them. You know, like they got this unique trait that's considered like a curse or something, but they use it for the, you know, the state of all people that are in jeopardy or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just trying to be deep. I whatever you just said just went in one ear and out the other one. It lost me completely. There you go with some bad audio uh, levels. Oh, his teeth is a mess. Damn, this is long as fuck. What his power is biting people. Boy, they got ASMR on this song. Whisper it. It's better. Ain't got the nerve to try to come in hard, okay? Right. I'm spitting these SMR bars, yeah. I got a tempo just change up on you. I know, it. man. It's anime very... openings have that bad change in the it, tempo. Though. I love it. You be rocking one way, yeah. and then the thing come on, you be like. So once you think you're on beat with it, it just switches. Right. Then you be like, hell, do I not have rhythm, or did the thing change? Oh, that's cool. What happened to my man's arm? Uh oh. The arm done turned into a cloak. It's like a power up. Rebel one turning point. God damn it. To the turning point. Okay. Let me get shit like feathers now. Yeah, there's definitely something off with this nigga. Okay, now it's lights. Hollow, okay. So this must be like a second part. Like when shit just really goes crazy. It looks better. It do. I'm seeing some of these other characters. They must be like mainstay support characters. Not like they form some kind of organization. Bye. Oh, I got a vampire up in here? Bro, this is like dark fantasy sci-fi. definitely more bloody. Right. Their characters do look different. They do. They look different from the last one. Uh-oh. I'm kind of excited about this shit because... We watched the first opening. It looked really good. And this is like a long, ongoing series. Like a hundred episodes at least. But the animation looks like it's going to be consistent. Like how my boy shit turned into a pimp coat on him. Pimp coat of justice. 
this pill cloak oh shit well that's it for it man um that was pretty good like i really really like this because it makes you wonder about what this show actually consists of you know like based off of the overall aesthetic i'm noticing that it has like a dark fantasy vibe to it mixed with a little bit of steampunk a little bit of sci-fi tech you know you see the main character he seems like he has like an arm that's going to constantly change as the series progresses and stuff like that i don't know if that's like a curse or if that's an intentional ability that he had has the pimp cloak on right yeah because at first he just started off normal he had like the big buster cannon arm like mega man or on some Tetsuo shit from Akira. And I think that's what it's gonna be like. He gonna be like Cable from X-Men if you guys play like Marvel vs. Capcom 2, where this character just has his arm mm. that's kinda like a virus, but he uses it, you know, to like beat up niggas. Yeah, and shit. Yeah, the arm is a virus. Yeah, he got some kind of weird mutated virus or mutation or something. I'm not saying that's what this character has, but it kinda puts me in the mind of Cable. I'm getting heavy Cable vibe. You remember Cable from Deadpool? Like the dude that came from the future and shit? And was trying to kill a fire oh, fist. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, him. Him, yeah. Basically, um, Thanos in his other form. Yeah, basically, like Josh Brolin right. just souped up with CGI effects on his arm. That dude. Yeah, um, and I can tell, like, the main characters, like, the main baddie, he's gonna be this weird-looking Batman penguin guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, the penguin from Batman. Or, uh, oh, I thought he was a good guy. No, you always see him fighting the dude that's trying to do with the long teeth. Yeah. I thought well, they was fighting together. I thought that's what no. I had interpreted. A nigga with that long of a teeth. Like, his teeth are Man, so long. long teeth people can still be good. Menacing eyes. Always smiling with his click. He like he got his own group, and he going to be trying to fight D. See, Gray, man. Show me you be looking way more into it than I do, because I'm sitting there like, oh, they all fighting together. I don't care if the camera's rotating at 500 miles per hour, and we see nothing but Sakuga unadulterated fighting all kinds of crazy shit. I'm going to like, I'm, I'm gonna break this shit down, and... I just got a feeling that nigga ain't right. You be breaking it on down. I be sitting there just breaking it on up. I be looking. <laughs> I be like, ooh, they best friends. Yeah, but um, I had checked the um, the episode listing. It looks like it's going to be like in the hundreds. So that's, um, might seem long, but like when we watch stuff, we get through it relatively fast. So. When we really enjoy something, we get yeah, through it really fast. Yeah, because we can eat up a 20-something episode anime like it ain't shit. Boy, for real. Because <laughs> that's how we did, Um, what was that? Uh, Tokyo Avengers. We did Tokyo Avengers. Mokuto Tensei. Yeah. Jujutsu no Kaisen. Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen. Kaisen. Yeah. It took us a little while for that. Yeah, it did. We yeah, kind of dragged our feet. We kept getting stuck on just life. Anyway. Yeah, man. Very, but very um, good. Yeah, I thank you, uh, Salik. I uh, appreciate you requesting we'll us to react to those. the openings. Uh, if I were to rate those, I would give those an A+. Plus. Like, there's a lot in them. Only thing I hate Especially is that, that last one. That last one can get an S. Yeah, it's like when they really start to jump off, that's the only yeah, thing. It's like, it's just, just short. Went off. I was actually like, oh, what's the more of that at? And right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, so that's one of those things, you know. I thought it would have more openings, but, you know, for the most part, that was that was pretty good, man. I ain't got no problem with that. Uh, so uh, I guess we will see you guys on the actual show reaction. So. Who said he was doing that? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna react to the show. That's what he requested first. He react. He told us to react to the openings first before we react to the show. So yeah. So yeah, Salik man, we will see you guys there for the opening. Peace.